In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the fuel pump wiring harness on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. We need to release the pressure in the fuel rail. Over on the passenger side, we're gonna take this cap off. Just use a rag, just put it over. You just wanna push in on the pin on the little Schrader valve there. I'm just gonna use a straight blade screwdriver. Just go in the middle there. Make sure you wear safety glasses. You're gonna get a little bit of fuel come out. Not much, just release the pressure. That's good. Now we can put that cap back on. We're gonna take the gas cap off. I'm gonna take these three bolts out. Use a seven millimeter socket. that out. You can push the top of the filler neck down. Using a 10 millimeter socket, you can take this bolt out for the ground. Ours is pretty rusty, so I'm just gonna use some locking pliers. Just get it to loosen up. All right, we got it loosened up. And just grab that bolt, take that out. I'm just gonna support the tank. All right, get that lined up. That's good, it's supporting now. Using a 15 millimeter socket. You want to loosen up the bolts. You want to do this by hand. You don't want to use an impact. Otherwise you might break the, uh, the nut on top. Let's get that spinning. There we go, slide that down. Now take, the, take the tank strap and just slide it up and it comes right up. Now we'll take this, this strap off the same way. 15 millimeter socket. Again, you don't want to use an impact. You could break the J nut. There we go. Take that bolt out and slide the strap down. And I'll take that off, and it slides right down. I'm gonna slowly lower the tank a little bit. I don't want to drop it down too much because we still have some things to disconnect. Just drop it down slowly. We're going to disconnect these two lines and just push the two tabs. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath so you might lose some fuel. And just grab the hose and slide it off. A little bit of fuel. The same with the top one. Push the clip in. Just try to slide the line off. There we go. And it slides right off. Disconnect this vent hose right here. Just push down. Just squeeze it and then you should be able to rock it off. May need some needle nose pliers. Just slide that off. You can see you squeeze it. 
and that pushes the locks out. Right, just make sure the filler neck goes over the frame. Just come down some more. Now I'll disconnect the connector right here. Push this lock back and then you can push down on the tab. Slide that connector back and slowly drop the tank more. I take the wiring harness and just pull back on the insulation. You can see where this one has already been replaced at one time. I'll just show you how to do it again. It's a good idea to stagger the wire connectors as well. So you can do that. This thicker wire is on the end. So we'll cut that one right there. It's also a good idea to do one at a time. Line that up. I'll just cut that right there. Strip the wire with some wire strippers. Twist this, strip that wire as well. Give it a twist, take this connector, one of the bigger ones, slide that over the wire, crimp that. Line that up and crimp that. Purple wire. It's the next one in the connector. Sometimes the connector colors may not be the same. So just match up. Make sure the second wire is purple. There it is. Cut those two right there. Insulation off right there. Give it a twist. Give this one a twist. This is going to be the smaller connector. The wire is not as thick. Crimp it down and crimp that one down. Give it a wiggle, make sure it's tight. Same with the other one. Yep, those are tight. The next wire is the gray one. And the same with the other connector, it's gray. Cut those right there. This gray wire is thicker, so I'll use the bigger connector. Crimp it down. Slide it in and crimp it down. It's tight. And the last one, orange and black. Sometimes you'll find these are just black, which is fine. You can attach it to the orange and black one. It's the last connector. Cut those off. Smaller connector. Crimp that down and crimp this one down. Get a wiggle. Yep, those are all good. I'm going to use a heat gun and heat shrink the connectors.
this back over the cover, the insulation sheath. Slide it in place. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure the gas tank's not right under you. You obviously don't want a heat gun or even an open flame underneath. So make sure it's far away. That's good right there. Are you good to put the tank back up? Now attach these to the hoses. Just push those in. Same with this one. Push it in, lock it down. We'll go up with the fuel tank. Just make sure you grab the filler neck. Have that go up first. Once you're ready, once it's high enough, you want to connect the connector to the fuel pump. Line that up, lock that down, push down on the lock. Fuel tank pressure sensor, lock that in. Lock that in, that's good. Looking good. And connect the lines, the fuel lines. Before you push the tank all the way up, makes it a little easier. All right, those are locked in now. I'm just gonna try to pull that apart. Yeah, those are locked in. All right, now you can raise the tank even more. Now connect this connector. That hose right there. Slide that in place. That's good. For the bolts, I'm just gonna use a light coat of anti-seize. Just because we're in a rusty area, that's good. Now slide that into the frame. Just use a pry bar, push that up. Just get this lined up. Take the bolt, get that started. Same for the back strap. Put that in there. Get it started. Then snug it down. Now we'll torque these to 30 foot pounds. strap and a bolt. Go around the other ground, get that started. And we'll tighten that down. There you go, that's good. Now you can lower the support. I'll line this up, put the bolts in, get those started. You might have to push this up a little bit. Get the other one started. And the top one. And once you get those all in, go ahead and tighten those down. Snug that down, then take the gas cap, line that up, snug it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.